I'm Michael Reese, co-founder of the National Association of Expert Advisors. And the new American dream is... The old American dream for the homeowner uh, when selling their home was pretty simple. I mean, you, you basically could put a sign in your yard anywhere in America and, you know, it was really easy to, to sell a home. You know, you could have, you could hire a real estate agent that was selling a handful of homes every year and you would obviously get a different experience even if you went to the same company. But at the end of the day, you would just be a little bit patient and the house would sell. And usually it would sell for a very good price. In fact, you know, when I first got into real estate, I'll never forget someone told me that they kept on repeating, man, you should have been here two years ago. You've been, you should have been here two years ago. You know, everything sold. They sold, you know, you couldn't even put homes on the market and they wouldn't even sit more than a week and you'd have multiple offers. You could literally just hire a family member, someone from church, your next door neighbor. You know, there's, there's in, in some states, I know like the state of California, you know, they stopped issuing real estate licenses in some states. I know where I'm from in, in Dallas, Texas, there's over 40,000 licensed realtors. So everywhere you go, you can throw a rock and hit a real estate agent. And so, you know, a lot of people just hire their friends or family. And sometimes they even hire them, even if they've never even sold a home in the neighborhood, or have never sold a home in their price point, or have never sold a home in their actual suburban, you know, their city within their city. They just hire someone based upon who they like, you know, their, who they like the best. And that used to work. Things really started to change when the market shifted, and it was um, very difficult for the traditional real estate agent to stay up with what was going on. And there was a there was a lot of different things that impacted the actual real estate agent. One was there was this thing called a short sale, where homeowners were now in a they had a, an ability to sell their home for less than they owed on it, and and it was because the banks were in trouble for various reasons. Everyone was pointing the finger at everybody else, but. In all fairness, I've watched a lot of real estate agents. In fact, I watched contracts, addendums be created that you know, 30, 90, 60 days ago didn't even exist. And so as this specialized knowledge and training was, was being created, what was happening is home, home values were actually dropping as a result. I mean, if you think about it, if a home's price is determined by what other homes sell for, and homeowners are now allowed to sell their home for less than they owe, then now you've actually got people who are doing the right things, paying their mortgage, staying up with the things that they need to do to be responsible homeowners, and these other people that have find themselves sometimes their fault or not by their fault, in situations where they can't afford to sell, but the bank bails them out. And the guy that's sitting down the street that bought his dream home and invested his retirement or leveraged his 401k to get in this property is now watching that equity walk right out the door. And so as a result of this, you have to be able to give the advice, A, if they should sell, B, if you do sell, have a plan that's gonna allow you to sell fast because every day your home is on the market, it's depreciating in the perception of value. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna negotiate a low offer, I wanna negotiate a high offer. There were a couple things that happened over, the, over real estate that's really started to change. The model of real estate really started to change. You really started seeing as I came into the real estate industry, teams starting to evolve, people working together because real estate is, is a very specialized system. You can't do everything. Let's face it, the, the, the best agent doesn't make the most money in real estate. It's the best marketer, the one with the most customers. And ultimately, those economies of scale take place when you get a team of specialized agents working together. Whether it's someone who specializes in the art of negotiation, um, whether they specialize in marketing, or whether they just specialize in pricing the home. I mean, if you go ask 10 agents to, you know, to price a home, you'll probably come up with 10 different prices. And price has an important part to play in the home selling process, and it especially impacts the seller's bottom line. So we have actually have a specialized team of experts in our business, and we went with a model where the consumer wins, where they have somebody looking out for their best interest. The new American dream for the homeowner is to actually be able to not only list their home, but sell their home in any market and to actually get the equity that they deserve. You know, if you if you buy a home, I think it's 61% of, of Americans' wealth is actually obtained through their home ownership. And there is more than just banging a sign in the lawn that goes into marketing a property successfully, attracting an offer and selling it. In fact, there's over 80 key variables that when managed correctly have a cause and effect relationship 
on a homeowner's ability to not only sell the home, but to maximize the equity and the profits that are locked up in the selling process. Now we put these 80 key variables together and we made sure every variable fell within seven laws. And these laws, when obeyed, help you have a proven repeatable selling process to selling your home for up to 18% more money. And all of these things put together will help the homeowner achieve the new American dream.